studentski klub pre Univerziteti Ryerson v Toronti minulého mesiaca provil futbolni turnir na počatok novoho školnoho sezonu. I my pokažemo sjehodni, jak studenti tjaško pracuju. On Saturday, October 20, the Ukraine Students Cup at Ryerson hosted their first ever soccer tournament. In the week's prior, it created a lot of anticipation and excitement. Let's see how it all turned out. As the president of the Ukrainian Students Club at Ryerson, uh, why did you make this event? The idea came across, we've been telling people we're going to have this tournament. We set a date for October 20th, get your teams ready, there's a max 10 teams and I don't know. And then we had Marta create a uh, Facebook event which kind of brought more attention and from there on people just wanted to play, put a team together and boom boom pop. It shows that students from universities all around, like we have students from Western, from U of T, Ryerson, I'm pretty sure somebody from York too, um, that they, we can all get together and have a friendly competition, see who's the best. For people and students all across the country who are involved in Ukrainian communities, it gives them a chance to all come back together for a weekend, play some soccer, get a little competitive, have some fun. And at the end of the day, you know, we're, we celebrate that we're all Ukrainian and we all love our heritage and the fact that we can do this all together. It's great. So the first ever soccer tournament, how do you think it went today? Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, absolutely. Like, we had great weather throughout the round robin and uh, it was a lot of fun. Everybody had a great time. Got a little cold here and there, but overall it was pretty good. We got to run around. Haven't played in a while, so it was good to see all the Ukrainians come together. So it was a lot of work. I'd say we, we started a long time ago. It was like mid-summer, so that's when our uh, organization started, started delegating uh, what's got to be done. Most of the work started probably about three months ago. It's always crazy with the last week because you find all those little things that you don't notice before. And uh, that's why everyone everyone stayed composed, everyone uh, did their job. So. And what was your job for today? Uh, our job was, uh, I had the ref, you can yeah. see my whistle right now. I was part refing, part supporting the Ryerson team as you can see with our jerseys. And uh, just keeping everybody calm I guess. And there's a lot of people stressing out but just, just have fun. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a sport. What was your main goal for today? Uh, just uh, fun. Make sure everyone has a good time. Thank God the weather turned out really well. It didn't rain, so I'm really happy with that. But yeah, the main goal is just to have fun. A lot of We're also doing a Zabava at the end, which everybody likes to come, have a good time, socialize. Yeah. Two great events, one day full packed of uh, social activities, so that's what we're trying to do. It's gonna be awesome. It was incredible. I can't. I highly commend the uh, the Ryerson Ukrainian Students Club because it went off without a hitch. I never have I been to a Ukrainian event that's been run so well on time. Everything is going so smoothly. The nets were done. Pizza and and fruits were served on time, and we're having a great time. It's great. Well, Ryerson, the Ukrainian Students Club at Ryerson is actually pretty young right now. We're only roughly like five years old, and making a name for ourselves was kind of big, key. So that we thought making a tournament, get a bunch of Ukrainians out together, it's always a good time. So We won two games, tied one and lost one, and then in the end we... But the most important thing, we had fun. <laughs> yeah, fun. Um, we're playing against some really young talent, so we're hoping that uh, our old bodies, old you know, university students, can keep up with them and make it all the way to the final and take it home. It's pretty competitive. It is competitive, but, yeah. I can't say that it's not. It's a lot of, it's more for the fun. I was going around asking teams. They're saying they've had a good time even though, uh, even though they lost. But <laughs> hey, you can't always be the winner, right? Yeah, let's tune in because I've never seen a shootout. This is the first time, first Ryerson soccer tournament and the first time we're having a shootout. This is the semifinal. This team that wins heads on to the final and we play for the Dynamo Cup.